Hello everyone, my name is Charles Thompson, Executive Advisor here at Power. Welcome to our Solar Mastery Training. Today's topic is how solar works. And before we dive into this, we want to frame things up for you. This information that's being provided for you today is for informational purposes and educational purposes, not to make you an expert. Our platform is where you have access to experts all around the world, soon to be hundreds of professional solar providers and installers. What this information should do is give you confidence. When you're faced with a question that you're not extremely confident in answering or feel that it's better handled by an expert, which most questions are, some of the coaching we provide is right here. That's a great question. Every home is different. Every city is different, every state is different, every utility is different, every situation is different. But every home is different. Let's see what's true for your home. Go ahead and send me a copy of your most recent electric bill, and we'll set up a call with our preferred provider, state and name. And what we'll do is we'll get that question answered, any other questions that you might have, and at the same thing, we'll set up a date and time for your complimentary or free solar consultation. That's the best way to handle objections and questions as you move forward. But let's go ahead and talk about how does the sunshine become solar energy? And it's very simple. You can see here in this graphic as the sun shines down onto the panels, that captures the energy from the sun, the UV rays, and channels it into an inverter where it's then converted into electricity to power your home. We'll talk more about each of those components, but that's simply how it works. It starts with the solar panel, and you can see here the components that make up the solar panel. Quite simple, but technology that's been around for 50-ish years, and all that's happened is they've become a little smaller, they look a lot better, and they become more efficient. And not any other major technology changes from what you see on the screen for about 50 years. Many panels, so you take a bunch of panels, depending upon how much energy needs to be produced at home, and that forms what's called a solar array. There's other components in the array that we'll define, but it starts with the panel, and when they're properly installed, it converts the rays into DC electricity. The inverter, which is sometimes mounted in the panel, sometimes mounted on the side of the home, it depends on whether it's a micro inverter or not, converts DC electricity here in the United States to what we use, which is AC or alternating current. That's what powers the home. And then the electrical panel, once it's sent through from the inverter, it sends the electricity into the electrical panel known as a breaker box, and that's what sends the energy into your home. We are connected to the grid. You will almost in all cases be connected to the grid, at least the way the codes are written today. And you'll need to draw power at night because your panels do not produce energy at night. However, the cost of using that electricity at night is offset by what you put into it during the day. And we'll talk about that during our net metering session here, how net metering works. But the net meter is also part of the utility installs and that keeps track of how much solar power is produced throughout the day and how much you send into the grid it effectively tracks that and gives you credit that you can use that energy at night that's very very basic terms how it works and then this is how it looks you have your panels like we showed earlier you have your inverter again those are sometimes mounted on the back of the panel you have your meter one is monitoring the net meter and the other is your electrical panel and all that's connected into the grid. Very simple. So if you look at that, the current plan, here's what you're paying for. You're paying for the generation expenses to generate that power, whether it's drilling, whether it's coal, all the supervisors, middle managers, executive teams, big bonuses and salaries, brokers, plant workers, utility middlemen who want to sell that power, or middle women for that matter. The transmission, and I encourage you to watch the video that talks about how energy is made so you know how inefficient it is and it's extremely wasteful, inefficient, and all that wasted energy and companies that have to deal with the distribution or elimination of toxic materials. That's what you're paying for today. 
Well, if you compare that to your own personal power plant, the average home today, and let's look at the CO2 emissions of what you're going to be able to avoid, uses about 6,000 kilowatts, and many homes use a lot more than that. So as we show you the visual, you'll see the benefit of what we're doing here. And there's some references. The CO2 emissions, totally about 18,000 pounds of CO2 for electricity per year in a home. Put that in perspective. A seven series BMW weighs about 4,000 pounds. So if you look at how much CO2 emissions are going into the environment, check this out. This is what you're dumping into the environment just because you're powering your home through the sources of dirty energy. Just imagine not having to do that. And this is how, right here, by converting to solar energy and preventing the movement and emission of those many BMWs into the environment every single year. This is why we're here. We are making the move and shifting the globe from dirty to clean energy. And now that you know how this works, this is why we have the power platform. It's an excellent starting point. Bring your prospects into our platform. Introduce them to our pre-screened installers and financial companies. We'll be able to show you comparisons and what might be the best way for you to go from dirty energy to clean energy. And let's start there. And I thank you for listening.